Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready to get going with our next contest of the evening. Please welcome our first fighter to the red corner, Nathan Richardson. Great, great, great tune. Yeah, I thought it was so Jordan Barton in the corner there. So, up for uh, Winsford lad himself, so... You know, you don't get much better than Jordan Barton in this game, Ian. Yeah, right. very good fighter. We got a nice interview with Jordan. I know you've trained with him. We had a good interview with him on MMA and Cage. Yeah, he's a, an absolute class act and, you know, he's got a fight coming up very, very soon. He's fighting over in, uh, in Dublin, Ireland on Bellator. So, looking forward to seeing Jordan back in that cage. I imagine that would be a great experience. It is a great experience. Oh, well, again, I don't like to talk about it, but yes. Uh, a fantastic experience for everyone that's, that's going to be out there again. Jordan uh, now representing Manchester top team and doing really, really well out there. So, going to see what his corner skills are like at the minute. I know he's really concentrating on his own career as well. It's great to see. But he's got, Richardson's got a very, very tough fight ahead of him in Jacob Gavin. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his opponent to the blue corner, Jacob Gavin! So his opponent making his way down to the blue corner of the cage, representing Aspire, who we've seen with some great success so far tonight, is Jacob Gavin. middleweight contest matched at under 85 kilograms for this amateur show yeah a lot most of the weights on the car tonight are a lot smaller this is the heaviest weight we've got at the middleweight division Ladies and gentlemen, this contest has been matched at 85 kilograms, will take place over three three-minute rounds, and our referee in charge is Simon Small. Introducing our first fighter fighting out of the red corner, representing BTB Business, Nathan Richardson! Welcome his opponent facing him across the cage and fighting out of the blue corner. Representing Aspire, Jacob Gavin! Middleweight bout, we have Richardson with the red tape on his gloves, Gavin with the blue. Oh, actually, black tape on his gloves, I think. About the blue corner. Touch of gloves. Straight around, inside leg kick there. Then inside body kick from Richardson. Straight some wild shots there from Richardson. Yeah, tall. Well, straight in for that takedown now, Jacob Gavin trying to work his way through. Keep hold of that neck. Pulled that leg up out the way. Trying to work for that single now. Yeah, some heavy head pressure as he tries to defend with a split squat on the head down, but he's lifted up off the ground. He's got to be careful that slam when that neck is tight under. There we go, better turn it out that way, and now he'll have to let go of that, that choke. 
got that arm dug deep underneath the neck but as we were saying before Ian it's a lot of time a hindrance yeah as I said earlier I think the, the biggest unforced error in mixed martial arts is to hold on to that head when someone's passed your guard like that Let's let it go now and Gavin trying to work away now trying to wrap that foot up and trying to pull those hips away from the fence again he needs to get that head on the other side of his hip while he's putting that pressure down hip on the uh, head on the other side but he's not works his way back up pretty well against the cage Richardson yeah and this time he gets the underhook to stop himself being lifted up he's got both underhooks and he still gets taken down good work there from Jacob Gavin he's done a good job there hasn't he yeah now he's looking to control that far arm so he can't base on the elbow or the hand Richardson not making it the easiest of fights here for Gavin but Gavin tries to jump through to mount Settle stand back up out of guard watch him to fire his shot and then maybe step back and let this fight go back to the feet waiting for that so he can pull the trigger again leaves his head in Richardson there with good pressure on the head again some big shots going in and just following around like a zombie here trying to throw them big hands nice inside low kick from Richardson to finish the round yeah good work there you know Jacob Gavin had the, the majority of the round but Nathan Richardson started to sort of really come on towards the end there I'd be interested to see the start of this next round yeah, he did seem to be growing in confidence a little there after really spending a lot of that round defending against the fence, trying to stay stood up or trying to get back to his feet. But then we saw as it broke away there, some little bits of success and I'm sure he'll have gone back to the corner there with his spirits lifted towards the end of that round. Yeah, I'd say so. You know, I mean, the way he sort of switched on towards the end and started coming with some really heavy-handed shots, he's definitely going to... Uh, potentially playing to the fact of the start of this round coming out exactly the same as how he ended the last round and, and we'll see where that goes and see what, what Gavin can take with that, that kind of pressure early on here we go round number two we have Richardson in the red corner Gavin in the blue. He's that jab, Gavin, straight away. So he's trying to close the distance. Good work, though. Clearly got heavy hands, Richardson. Yeah, and he's also strong in these positions. But Gavin, relentless with the takedown attacks. There's times where it's looked like Richardson's done everything he can to defend, and Gavin still manages to put him down onto his ass. Yeah, he wants to try and work his way back onto that fence now and trying to let go of that ahead now and start trying to work my way back up potentially plant that fox otherwise he's going to get dragged his hips dragged back off the cage now yeah well he's took the pressure off the head so now he just needs to try to get some frames in between them start to work his hand and hips you see the body lock there from Gavin and he needs to at least get inside biceps as he's done there. Yeah, he, he's happily sitting here a little bit too long now. And Gavin will happily sit with his hips flexed forward and throwing a couple of shots down to make the referee not step in. Now see Gavin trying to better to half guard. Yeah, that's a good pass. Get, that. Then gets his head clear. This is good positioning now. Gavin driving those shots in. Worth that Kimura there, but not going to get that. 
The worry you've got as well in that sort of position as you go for the Kimura, give up that back exposure and then Gavin gets around the back. Good work, this ground and pound work now from Jacob Gavin. Richardson trying to get back to his knees, then to yeah. his feet. He's up and he's drags straight ride. back down. If he can work his way back up now. He's out of sit through, watch that neck. There, big shot again, it's where he wants it now. How much is that wrestling taken out of Gavin? Again, it's the overcommitment, isn't it? The ground, yep. Two shots was too much. Sometimes the overcommitment on the shots is just what Gavin was looking for. And that's the end of the second round. We go to the third, but. The adjustments just wasn't made there, were they? In that, in that round for, for Richardson, and that was a really dominant round for Jacob Gavin. Yeah, I mean, he finished round number one well. Looked very positive. And then round number two, it just seemed to be Gavin actually stepped up his pace and dominated maybe more than he did in round one. So we got our third and final round very, very soon. Dean Garner doing a great job as a coach as well. One of the coaches of uh, Mohamed Mokayev, who's doing very well in the UFC at the minute. Big shout out to Mohamed again, another guy that's been on our show. Yeah, great fighter. Great to see him doing well. Still. <laughs> After 30 fights, look at his now. He's so consistent. <laughs> you know, it's good when you see fighters putting in so much hard work and really deserve it. Here we go, third and final round. Nathan Richardson struggling to get around under his belt against Jacob Gavin. He has got heavy hands, can he land them now? <laughs> Throwing down early here. Good shot again, that jab. He's really shaking Gavin with them jabs and backhands, but... Gavin happy to work his way in by taking a couple of shots. Yeah, it might be a risky move, I think. The one thing Richardson has got going for him is these heavy hands. Looping left there. Oh, he works way in. He gets caught with this catcher with the knee then. Scrambling back to his feet there after the kick getting caught. The crowd not happy with the wrestling from Jacob Gavin clearly there, Ian. Good knee to the oh, ribs. It was a solid body shot and he stumbles back. Has Richardson got it in him to see that he's putting a dint in Gavin? Gavin, again though, with that persistent takedown. Well, he's not going to readjust now for that neck, but can get that arm and guilty there with the head a little bit too high and yeah, good work on the neck. He's just going to do that, he's put his weight over the head and not onto his left, left side, he's going to his right hip. The elbow way too high. You have to put the weight over the head and get that right arm deeper, but it gets the head clear anyway. Some still heavy shots from the bottom from uh, from Richardson. He is heavy-handed. He's just not been given a chance by Jacob Gavin to land these shots. He's going to try and work his way back up off that fence. No, he's turned it back in. Good work from from Gavin. Yeah, again, this has been the story of the fight. Gavin just driving, persistent with the attempts at a takedown and keeping those hips off the fence. Yeah, he's happy just to keep controlling them hips, but Richardson look. back to his feet. But again, taken down by Gavin. Yeah, he's just done a really good job once again of getting that control. Was that his last chance there, Jamie? 
I mean, I'd suggest so with it not being long left. He's looking for to lock them legs back up, but there's not really much he can do now with the pressure that Gavin's putting on. Uh, trying to work the legs up, trying to threaten the guard from underneath. I think that is the end of a middleweight fight. And again, we'll hand over to our judges who have been very busy tonight. Very, very busy night, but it just shows how well a match the card this is. We go to our judges scorecards where we have a unanimous decision in favour of your winner fighting out of the blue corner, Jacob Gavin! Ladies and gentlemen, please a big round of applause for Nathan Richardson! Oh, good win there, as we thought from Nathan Gavin. And we'll move on with the last five fights of the card.